Hello, and welcome to Community Connections. My name is Addison Davis, Superintendent of Schools. In this month's episode, we'll talk about and celebrate the American Founders Month. As you'll see, the state of Florida will have a number of activities celebrating American Founders Month. However, in Clay County, we will do a lot of our work with partnering with local agencies in order to bring rich information, activities, along with information to our children so they have a better understanding of our country's founders in the U.S. Constitution. Here today to celebrate and talk about this work, we have the Specialist of Social Studies, Kelly Watt, along with our Clerk of Courts, Tara Green. We want to thank you for being here today. You know, this is such a, uh, you know, a perfect time just to talk about how we have partnered together to do great things for our community, great things for our students and our schools, and truly educate them about the importance of, the, uh, of our founding fathers along with our Constitution. So as we celebrate this month uh, and we talk about uh, the curriculums and what we're doing for our kids, Kelly, can you talk about what we're actually offering our students uh, this month as we relate to get them actively engaged in the Founders Month? Absolutely. So um, you're right. We have Founders Month is the month of September and Celebrate Freedom Week is something that we celebrate across the state of Florida and it is a time that we set aside to recognize the contributions of our founding fathers. Uh, we celebrate the Constitution and the Declaration of Independence. And in Clay County, we take that responsibility really seriously, but we also like to have a lot of fun. I agree with that as well. Yes, yeah, so this month, um, excuse me, this year, our theme is U.S. Presidents, Legacy of Our Leaders. Um, we also want to celebrate the idea and the character values that come with leadership. And we know that presidents have a very important role in our they democratic do. society. So this month, what we have planned is we have materials for all grade levels, K all the way up through 12th grade. Um, our 5th, 8th, and 11th grade U.S. history students will have lessons that go a little bit deeper with understanding of the Declaration of Independence and how those ideals have played out um, all the way through today and why they are so important. And we also have um, activities for throughout the week where teachers can see what they're already teaching in the curriculum guide and see how the Constitution and Declaration of Independence and this idea of leadership, how that is a common thread in everything that we learn. Um, so we have materials throughout the week. One of the more exciting things that we're having is our fourth annual elementary art contest. All right. Yes. Yay. So we love our students' creativity. So this year, uh, students in kindergarten through fifth grade can work typically with our art teacher and they have to think about leadership and if they were the president what is one decision they would make to improve our society um, and to get that ball rolling right. and to get the wheels turning they do read some text and they can do that in their um, during their media center time, and then they partner with art, and they can create some sort of illustration, and then they um, write up a little, a few sentences about what that idea is, and then they illustrate it. Cool. And so that's going to be district wide, and those students, um, I know you're, you'll be excited to yeah. celebrate them yeah. at the November board meeting and recognize their achievements. So awesome. Those pieces of artwork will be in the. Um, uh, teacher Training Center, which is where the board yep. meetings are held. Yep. Um, another really fantastic thing that we're doing this year is we have the clerk's office. Yeah. Clerk Green is coming through a lot of our junior high and high schools and sharing about, um, about the Sixth Amendment and the Bill of Rights and our local court system and how that yeah. plays yeah. into um, the Constitution. Sure, and uh, you know, the celebration is from multifaceted in the sense that now we have a K-12 exposure to all of our students. They're going to be exposed and we know that we teach civics in, in the seventh grade and we, but every day we should be teaching civics about how they can be mm -hmm. civic leaders within our county, especially in Clay. We're so prideful about that. Yes. But really having beautiful partnerships with the, the clerk of courts and, and you know, Tara Green, you, you've been awesome partner with us. She's in our schools as of late, educating our children. So how's that going? You know, yeah. getting back in the classroom, engaging with students. And so what are some of the things you're talking about and what are some of the responses you may be getting from children? Oh, well, we started today and we had yeah. a great day at Middleburg High. I spent all morning there. That's my alma mater. Uh -huh. I am a Bronx.
Bronco. No Broncos. So uh, <laughs> I got to revisit the Haws a little bit. But I uh, spent time with, uh, a, I guess, over 100 students today. And we talked about the Bill of Rights. We talked about the yeah. Constitution. We talked mainly about the Sixth Amendment, which is, mm -hmm. you know, your right to a fair trial. And we talk about our silver, sure. civil duty. I touch on the importance of, you know, jury. And jury is a civil duty that you, that you uh, participate in. Um, at, especially most of these students, particularly in high school, turn in 18. Mm -hmm. Uh, now they are now they qualify to serve on a jury, and that is a critical part right. of the Sixth right. Amendment. So we've had a great time. Uh, we've been very well received, and I'm, we have the whole week uh, booked up in many different schools uh, this week that I'll be visiting. That's exciting. And then we have more more to come to kind of mm -hmm. just continue to touch yeah. on, uh, particularly the Sixth Amendment, but you know sure. the Bill of Rights and and the Constitution. And you talk about a president as a leader. Mm -hmm. I touch on George Washington and yeah. how important he was. Definitely. And bringing that Sixth Amendment into yeah. the Bill of Rights, so awesome. yeah, it's been yeah. a great day. You know, so it's exciting to get to the classrooms. Any chance that we get, we love interacting with children, educating them, and, and, and just talking about the overall celebration mechanics of American Founders Month. You know, but we've had a really good relationship with the Clerk of Courts. You've been in there. You've done really good work for us. We we continue to evolve mm -hmm. as a school district. We you know a, a long year of courts and archives. Um, can you talk a little bit about how this relationship continues to blossom and the importance for us to be on the same page? Yeah, absolutely. So this started several years yes. ago uh, where Kelly and I started talking about, she actually approached me about archives and some of the rich history we have on Clay right. County and archives and started really playing around the idea of how can we incorporate clay history because sure. it's so robust yeah, here yeah, cool. into yeah. the schools and into the curriculum. So you put great minds together, uh, wasn't necessarily me, but in the archive staff, sure. I've got specialists over there, and they started working together mm -hmm. on how can we bring clay history into the schools. And we started small. We started mm -hmm. with eighth grade. I think we touched yep. about 3,000 students, and I believe it was a huge success. Yes. And from there, uh, it launched into Clay History Month yes. uh, for Clay County, and awesome. last year we had our first Clay, Clay History Festival. Yes, we did. So yeah. we are really yeah. excited about the partnership. Uh, like I said, Archives has such mm -hmm. a wealth of information on, on Clay History. Yeah, really neat uh, stuff too, right? Really oh. neat. Very neat. <laughs> there are a lot yeah. of interesting stories yeah. about Clay County that our youth should know about. Yeah. Uh, that really have impact the nation as a whole. Sure. So uh, we've thoroughly enjoyed yes. the partnership and, and looking very much forward to just keep expanding it and, right. and leveraging what we can help, you know, how we can provide and how we can help. Awesome. Yes. It, it's really cool to see the historic triangle about mm -hmm. how we're starting to gain access to children, their families, the community, embed that into our curriculum and just see the, the evolve of the knowledge. And I think I, I agree, it's truly important but as we infuse this in the curriculum, what do you see? How, you know, why is it so impactful for our schools to, to have and to know? The oh, yeah, and, and I don't think it can be understated. I know that uh, for Clay County School Board, one of our, our mission is to provide rigorous, relevant learning that transcends beyond the school walls. That is, this is exactly what that looks like. I agree. That when you are a, let's take the, the 12th grade students that we've been really um, reaching and connecting with lately through the help of the Clerk of Courts Office, um, that we are showing them that it's learning about government, learning about your rights, that you can learn about that in the textbook. That's sure. a good start. But where do we go from there? that our students yeah. are going to be entering into a world where yeah. they may not have the textbook mm -hmm. beside them as they navigate challenges. But what they will remember are the experiences that they had. Sure. And I think that here in Clay County, we are very proud of the fact that our kids graduate from these schools with experiences right. where they can connect. They walk into that courtroom, and depending on what side it is, they they feel comfortable in that arena. They know their rights, and they know that they have um, the experience to be able to move forward, and then at the same time contribute back to their community right. because they have gained so much. I think through these experiences, one of the, one of the most exciting things um, was on In Service Day. We had a session. This is the first time we've done this for our twelfth grade. Um, government teachers and the clerk of courts off office offered this PD. They brought oh. in a lot of um, their best and brightest over there. Mm -hmm. They cool. 
provided lunch, and they took them through the courtroom, wow. the historic courtroom, which if you, have, if you haven't been in there before, that is definitely something that you will want to visit at some point. Very neat building. The archives, and just that whole historic triangle, and teachers came back afterwards and said, this was the most relevant wow. training I have ever received. I cannot wow. wait to use yeah. the resources provided from the clerk reports. You know what, it great. just sounds powerful. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the ability for us to, to link together, to leverage our resources, leverage the, the rich history in Clay County, yes. and expose our educators, our teachers, our community members. And, um, you know, we talk about engaging our community. How do parents get involved in this process, or, or families that really talk about and celebrate American Founders Month? How, do they, how would they do that in, in the month of September? So that is an excellent question. And I would say the best way for... Um, a parent, and I would say our parents here in Clay County are very civically minded. Um, they care about their children becoming strong citizens. Okay. And the best way to do that is just on a daily basis, modeling civility, and then also modeling um, things like talking about voting. So if there's an election coming up, kids watch their parents. Their parents are their first teachers. Sure. And so if they can, uh, when the parents go to vote, have a conversation in the car. Yeah. Here's why I'm going to vote, because this matters to me. Sure. Um, have conversations about what's in the news. And I think that um, the best way to model those ideals that we have from Founders Week is to live it every single day. That it's not something we do just during the week, even though that's when we celebrate it the most in schools, but just that modeling it and um, helping kids understand the importance of what it means to be a citizen in, in a democratic society. I totally agree. You know, at the end of the day, I, we talk about it all the time, we got to reclaim the dinner table. And in that time, have conversations with our children every single day to talk about how they can play a positive impact in our and role in our society. And one of the ways to do it is, is truly how to not only teach them our core values, but also teach them how to be civic leaders. So overall, thank you both for being here today. Thank you you are, you're great leaders in this county. We're a better place because of each of you. I'm so thank thankful you. for the partnership. And uh, for those of you who are watching, thank you for, for allowing your, you know, your children to come to us where every day we will seek to provide them a world-class education where they can be the best in Clay County District Schools. So thank you. We hope that you take the chance to really acknowledge and celebrate the American Founders Month in September and really connect with your children about the lessons and activities they're involved in this month. For next month's episode, we'll be focusing on resources for the mental health perspective. We'll have a number of, of experts with us that month to talk about how you can extend services to your children and how you can leverage the services that we have within our school district. Thank you and have a great day. Mm -hmm.